Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. We are here with Jason and the Wrangler. We are going to check this thing out. We're probably going to tear off this front portion of the Jeep, probably drain the uh, radiator, start tearing into this thing. We did find something out. We're not going to mention that just yet, but let's just say we have some work ahead of us. So we got a guy pressure washing right now, so we don't have the door <laughs> open, but we're going to open up the door, get this thing moving, get the fluids rushing. Metric or American? Both. There's a half inch, and then there's a 10 mil, then there's this, then there's that, then some of the bolts break off. So it, it's a fun, fun little game here. Look at how beautiful the weather is. Okay, we got this all drained out. All right, pull it there, He-Man woman hater. Sweet. And we got, and the cool thing is, is after we're done with this job, we can go and play a, a round of hockey. Like seriously, this is a hockey puck. Are they CCM certified? I did see official somewhere on them, but I can't see them now. Maybe it was that one. There's three of them. Yeah, I saw official on it. So, there it is. So here's the situation, right? I was wanting to buy a Jeep. I wanted an inline six. I didn't want the inline four. There were a lot more inline fours on the internet than there were inline sixes. So I'm like, okay, I found an inline six. It already had the lift. It's not the best lift, but it's something to work with. But the only thing is, is this isn't, this wasn't originally an inline six. This was actually an inline four. So you can actually see here, they welded on these engine mounts here and over here. So now we have a whole new animal. We have parts missing from a four cylinder and a six cylinder. Now we got to figure out the chaos. We're hoping that that computer is an inline six computer and not a four cylinder computer. And that's why things like this AC compressor are not hooked up because this doesn't even have a spot for that. So this is actually just going to act as an idler pulley. If anybody knows like any solutions to like either getting rid of this or getting a smaller belt or whatever, I'd really appreciate it if you put it in the comment section below because like I said, we're not going to hook this thing up. This will be our new air conditioning system, this hole right here. So does the fact of the inline six not being original excite you or kind of are you on the fence? Uh, I know we're gonna have to chase a lot of stuff now. Yeah, for sure. Let's start chasing, Jason. We are currently in an illegal Duramax. Yes, you heard it right, an illegal Duramax. This thing is one day over inspection. The last time I was one day over inspection, I went to court, I paid a $200 fine. Hopefully, we will not get a fine on the way. We're, we're halfway there. We're halfway there, Jason. How does it feel to be in an illegal Duramax? Nothing I haven't done before. <laughs> Oh, so you've done this before. Um, so so I, Toyota's illegal right now. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, by a day. <laughs> so we're in the we're in the day day club? The yeah. one day late club? Uh, mine's gonna be a little more in the day late. <laughs> yep, <laughs> you're not getting home tonight. <laughs> uh, Camaro's good though. Hopefully it passes. It's a diesel, so it shouldn't be too difficult. It passed. Now she's not illegal anymore. We've been working on the Jeep. As you can see, it's pretty well torn apart. We've labeled as many wires as we can possibly label. Now we're gonna try to fire this thing up. That's why I got these on. So I don't have a fuel pump hooked up to this right now, and we don't know why this thing isn't running. Jason says, what, what could it be, Jason? Could be a security problem or fuel issue. Fuel issue, okay. So what we're gonna do is take off this beautiful purple tape here and just pour some carb cleaner, which is located right here, down its throat. If it continues to run, then we know it's a fuel issue. If it does not continue to run, then there's something else wrong. We've hooked up a few vacuum lines. Some of them were off. Uh, we only have one vacuum line hooked up now. That one goes inside the cab. That's it. We can't run it very long because we don't have the cooling system hooked up. But here we go. Oh. Action. Nope. Stop. Try it. Try it now. Uh, you got no spark. Huh? No spark. You didn't start. So we originally bypassed it for the spark. Now we're going to bypass it for the fuel. Yeah, I gotta make another jumper. So about the title and the thumbnail of this picture, yes, I did buy some sort of a lemon. I mean, I have a six cylinder TJ engine that came off of a 99? 99. 99. 
and then I have a 97 that originally came with a four banger. So now we have a six cylinder engine with a six cylinder computer. It's got the 97 keys and ignition switch. So what's happening is it's taking the information from that engine, from the computer, and since it doesn't have the correct tumbler, and it's not receiving the correct information from the key, like telling telling the engine and the computer, hey, you know, we're ready to go, it thinks this thing's currently stolen, so it doesn't want to spark, it doesn't want to let the engine run, and now Jason's looking up how we can fix that. Unfortunately, it's a huge, huge pain. We can either contact a dealer, we can buy some eBay stuff, we can call like two or three different companies and say, hey, this is what we got, what can you do for us? Uh, it comes down to finding the VIN though. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have to find the VIN because there's no way at this point I think we can find the VIN. Do you think we can find the VIN? So if anybody has a computer from a 99 Wrangler 4 liter with the key. factory keys and factory ignition switch and the transponder, there's nobody out there that's gonna have that. There's no, nobody's gonna be like, oh yeah, I got that on my shelf. Let me just pick that up and send that to 3D Machines, your PO box, which yeah. is in the uh, in the comment section, or in the description, I apologize. Did you drop something? Screw. Oh, uh, now we're gonna have a flat tire. These are beautiful tires, Jason. We can't screw these tires up. Somebody has already dropped a screw. We can't have another. Yeah, nice racing slicks. Those are mutters, baby. Those are straight <laughs> mutters. Only on the sides. They're ready. Oh, my hand. That was hurting my hand. No, but we were working on this thing all day. We, <laughs> and it's just been a wreck. We we only learned about the, well, Jason learned about the, what the engine actually came out of just a minute ago. So I didn't get to take Crush out, but then Jason reminded me that Crush isn't in his best shape anyways because I broke a, a sway bar end link, but that's no big deal. We can, we can still rock that. I mean, we can totally rip that if you want to. If anybody knows how to bypass the Chrysler security, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave that in the comments section below. Sorry for the short video, you guys, but tomorrow or next video when we use whatever's in this box here, this box is huge. As you can see, this is the next Jeep upgrade. So make sure to turn on your post notifications, subscribe, press that like button, stay in touch because things are going to get crazy. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Music